going on bros? So today, we have not done this in a long time. We haven't just had a vlog where it's both me and Ryan. Ryan's back from vacation, I got back from vacation. So, what we're doing today is we're doing a couple more things to prep his car for getting the motor back in. We cannot wait till this thing is done. It's been so long. There's only a couple more things that we have to do until the day comes where we have uh, a couple of our buddies come over and then that's the day that the motor is going in. But right now we're doing a little, a couple of little things that is going to help prep for when that motor needs to be back in, such as we're repainting some parts of the engine bay where it's kind of uh, rusty on the bottom. So we're gonna clean it up, sand it down, and then we're gonna do a couple more things today. And uh, you guys are gonna come along with us for the ride, so let's go. But first we need uh, breakfast. Look at that line, oh my good. So the first step of what we are doing today, we have to paint, we have to paint all of the subframe down here and a couple more parts up here on the front. And like this radiator mount right here is a little bit rusty. And same with over here. So we already sanded these down. Uh, this paper right here is just gonna be able to cover. We're gonna like mask off everything. But we're gonna be repainting that with like a special paint I can actually show you guys. It's like a Rust-Oleum, uh, rusty metal primer paint. So right here, this is what we're going to be using. And we've never used this before, but we'll, we'll let you know how it goes. But it says you're supposed to be using this for uh, heavily rusted surfaces such as that one. And then we're probably going to paint the paint over that primer with some black, um, high heat paint and I've used that stuff before uh, and it's pretty it's pretty okay but uh, yeah that's one of the things we have to do and then also we gotta change the oil on Adam's WRX later as well because he is way overdue and currently right now it's technically Ryan's car because he's using that to drive it around like you guys have already seen in a previous video oh and a big thing this is actually like one of the coolest things I've seen so far that we've done to this. Um, Adam actually surprised Ryan with his old OEM STI wheels and brand new tires that he bought for him. Um, and look what we did. They are now on Ryan's car and they have a little, they have to have adapters on the back of here because the lug pattern is actually different from the brand new STI to back to 2004. So it actually looks so much better and is pretty flush with the fenders now. And looks so much better. I, I absolutely love it. And I don't think that's ever been done with uh, the 2016 STI wheels on a 2004. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that Ryan's probably the first one ever to have this. So it looks awesome. Alright, so this is pretty much the final product of everything that we're going to be wrapping up. Up here is okay because we're not even going to be spraying that way. It's just going to be, it's just going to be straight down. Um, everything else is covered up. We've got the training covered up. Got a plug pretty much in the downpipe. A couple more over here. This whole uh, front radiator area is covered up. And yeah, so we're going to get to spraying. And pretty much that whole subframe is going to be a lot better than it was before. And hopefully that rust is covered up and sanded away. Also, Ryan is spraying. Um, and never, no, he's not spraying at all actually. He just can't hold the can. There we go. Can't hold the can. But he's spraying the uh, crank camshaft, whatever you want to call it, crankshaft pulley. Because he sanded down, this used to be all kind of rusty. Let's get the spraying. And then you're gonna do black over that? Yeah, that's that's just a primer mm -hmm. for the rust, so that should hold whatever is there. And then that'll pretty much seal it off. Nice. Oh yeah. At least a nice finish too. So that'll pretty much be that section. It 
doesn't look bad at all. And then that black is cool. really gonna finish it so off. So 15, 20 minutes from now, we can either do another coat or we can just uh, paint it. So I'm thinking depending on how it looks, I'll decide that. All right, 15 minutes later is now. So it's been over 15 minutes for the first set. 15 minutes pretty much exactly for the heat shield. And then we still have one piece that we have to wait for a little while, but everything else is pretty much ready to get a black coat. Well, I'll have you do this one, because uh, you did this one the first time. Give us another probably 15, 20 minutes, and you'll see it when they're all done. We're running to grab the oil for this stupid car, because we have to do a stupid oil change on this stupid car. <laughs> hey, why is that funny? Son, why don't you calm down? Time to get the oil. Got the oil stuff. Holy God, this thing is hot. What? Oh my god. <laughs> he has to sit in the sun. Touch this real quick. I right, touch the bottom. Nice. nice. So we're finishing up painting the engine bay down here on that subframe, and it looks really good. It's kind of hard to see with you guys, but it looks nice, like a flat black. Yeah, that's and the second coat that we just did. Yeah. Aren't we doing the clear enamel as well? Yeah, we can. Okay. I like how it really just cleans up this whole bottom look, where before it was kind of just worn away, silverish, rusty look. Now it's nice and a, kind of a all symmetrical black. Yeah. So we're going to be actually putting in this hood scoop diffuser that Brian did not have in his car for the longest time. Uh, this was actually given to him by Ian. Shop so Ian. we're going to clean this up and put it in and this will actually help for his, well we have a, we ha he has a bigger turbo so this is going to be needed to feed the uh, top mount intercooler uh, a little bit better. So if you didn't know that I was getting a bigger turbo, I'm getting a bigger turbo. Now you know. All right, we're gonna get started on the, oh, whoa. Oh, shirt change. Um, we're gonna get started on doing the oil change on this, uh, the 08. And then after that, there's a car show tonight. I don't know if we'll film that, because we're always there. Maybe we will, maybe we'll make something fun out of it or something like that. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do oil change on this thing. And then we'll see if we're doing something else with uh, the car show or whatever. It's a hot one today. That's probably good. So. First try. Really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice. What's up, guys? Oh, Woo. boy, got the gains. I'm looking forward to this. How cool do you think it is? You think it cooled down enough, or you think it's still hot? Oh no, it's still hot. <laughs> I don't want to do it. It's all right. I did it last time. Oh my god, that is so hot. Even the plug's hot. Really? Yeah. No, I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a glove. Right. You wanna go snag me a glove? Glove, 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 glove. Oh, oh. Uh, sure. Some old oil stains on there before. Let's see what that says? It says auto. He's your auto gov, mate! Hey. Oh, wow, that curved in the wind. Oh, nice, mate. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, oh, we splooge. We splooge. Oh, that's hot. I did not line it up right. We're gonna wash my car real quick before everybody comes over. Um, Adam and his dad are gonna come over to help get a couple things done to the motor. Um, but right now we're just gonna wash my car, get it all ready. I actually washed it like a couple days ago and literally right after I got done washing it, I had to drive through this construction place or whatever that they were spraying the ground. So the rest of the car is like clean, clean, and then it's like, what is that? Are you kidding me? It was probably only clean for about like 20 minutes and that's it. So it kind of sucks, but let's get to clean it again. You know, I just thought about it. Y'all see this all the time, us washing our cars and stuff. Uh, 
So I think I'm just gonna skip to when it's clean, like, and much better. Just gotta detail it, and then we're uh, we're on to whatever comes next. I don't really know, but uh, much better. Good morning, everyone. This has turned into a two-day video because Jordan and I have forgot to close this video out yesterday, so I figured I'd take you guys along with me today because I'm going to be doing some more work and I'll show you what we didn't show you that we did yesterday, too. We got this water crossover coolant pipe back onto the block and we got the water pump back on also because we fixed those two stripped holes. But what I'm running into now is these holes here for the water pump are probably absolute crap because this hole right here is plenty deep enough for the bolt that's going into it and the bolt is already starting to strip. So I'm thinking I'm gonna move a couple bolts around and see if that's the problem. And if not, then I'm probably just gonna drill them all out and put helicoils in all of them. If you don't think that's a good idea, let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much what I'm coming to because the bolt that we have a helicoil in is working fine. So. We'll have to go back and figure out why these holes just want to strip. I don't I don't really get it. It should be good quality stuff because it came right from Subaru, but you never know. They just seem like they always want to have problems no matter what. All right, so what I'm going to do now, since I don't have all the tools to install the helicoils on the rest of that water pump area, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with my voice today. It's pretty weird. I'm going to try to get this intake manifold ready to go to be put back onto the engine since the water pipe on the top is all set uh, this can go right on so right now one of the tgvs was removed so i took the bolts and injectors off of it and i'm currently cleaning it off so that when it goes back on it'll look nice and clean and i'm gonna do the same process with the other one and the rest of the intake manifold as well so that when it goes back on it kind of tries to match up with how clean the block is obviously it won't be as perfect as that but you know Get as close as you can get. I don't know what it is about doing car work early in the morning and getting your hands super dirty that makes me really hungry. You know, that might have sounded weird. As soon as I get like real deep into working, I realize that I haven't eaten breakfast. Then I gotta go get food. Kind of sucks because like I'd like to keep doing work, but I'm hungry. You know, I'm starving. Oh my gosh, it is hot in here. Jeez, oh, I can't get my wallet. Ooh. Got it. Oh my god. Even the, oh, everything's just hot. So let's have a temperature on it, say how hot it is. There it is. It's behind you guys, it's 90. It may not seem bad for some people, but it's hot. Waiting on my sister, figured we ought to get some food together, some brother-sister bonding time. So. Let's, uh, let's move it forward so we're not blocked in here. I've been thinking, if you guys want kind of a revised review of this car, because the one that we did was actually really crappy. It was a winter day, it was cold. I didn't know much about the car, I only had seen it like three or four times, and we were just kind of driving in it. But now that I've actually been driving it for about two weeks, I think I could do a better review on how this car is. I know we did that one video on the evolution of Subarus, and kind of bashed on this one a little bit, and still have driving it for this long, it doesn't really change my perspective on it. I still think the 11 to 14 is a beautiful, like way better looking than this. But I think with this year, there's still stuff you can do to it to make it look better. So I'd be willing to go a little bit more in depth on it and talk about just the quality of the car more in depth in a full review if that's what you guys want to see. Please leave a comment down below 
saying 08 WRX review and I'd be happy to make one. Even maybe we'll get Jordan in here. I don't know. Depends on what we're doing that day. Alright, back from getting food. Got some pizza if you didn't hear that. Got a tea also. And now I think we're going to put the TGV back onto the intake manifold and possibly take the other one off so I can clean it. Or I might just try to clean it on the manifold right now. So. Alright, it's update time. Oh my god. I'm, I'm glad I stopped recording for a little while just because I was just struggling trying to get some stuff done on that. Um, but so far I ended up getting the one TGV back onto the intake manifold and got it pretty much bolted down and everything and then I realized I never put the gasket on. So I just got that back off and put the gasket on and then got it back onto the intake manifold and I figured I have two of them. They're pretty nice. I might as well try to get the other one off since we didn't take that one off originally and try to put that gasket on as well. And then maybe I'll be done for the day. Depends on what's happening. Jordan might be stopping by after he gets out of work to help me out with this. Really hope he does because that would help speed the process up a lot more. Um, once I get this intake manifold all set, I'll catch back up with you guys, show you what it looks like of putting it on, and I'll bring the block out closer to light so we can uh, get some better footage of it. All right, guys, so I'm back. And the intake manifold is actually pretty close to being done. There's a couple extra bolts that I'm not sure where they go, so I'm gonna wait to put it on until I figure out where those go. But also, my friend Ryan is here doing some work on his car. He got a 05 Mustang GT convertible. So that's in here, and we're gonna do some work on that. Jordan was fixing some exhaust problems he was having, and then they're going to his house to grab some brakes so we can finish uh, doing some brakes on his car. So guess what guys, this is uh, this is day three of this one video. This has been so sporadic and we haven't planned like anything at all. So this is day three of working on Ryan's motor and whatever else. But I don't even remember what, what this video started off as. So just you guys know because you're watching this, it's probably like 20 minutes long by now. But um, but yeah, we're working on this, this is day three. And right now we actually have the intake manifold on the car. On the motor. There ain't no car over here. On the motor. Probably not, that would be stupid. I don't know how would it just move to it. So this is the blown turbo out of Ryan's car. And you all already know what kind of turbo we're getting for the new setup, but I don't know, do they know? Hit them up. Yeah, we said it yesterday in yesterday's part. We said that we're getting a bigger turbo, we didn't say what kind. What type of turbo it is. If we haven't said what type of turbo he's getting, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, it's a VF43. Hey, nice shot. And it's a, technically a 2007 Hawkeye STI turbo. So. Pretty much, that's about right. So, let's, let's take this for instance, like, after I've been driving around on my car with the stock TDO4 turbo, everything's pretty much stock for powertrain. Since I'm borrowing his access port right now, the highest I, I showed him this, the highest I've ever reached for boost was just under 18 pounds. I wonder how much you're going to be running at peak for yours. It's probably like, I'm it's probably, probably, like probably like 22, 23. Cause I know Adam hits like 23. His peak is 22. 22. Yeah. So. You could probably do about the I, same. I probably could do about 21, 22. Yeah. I'll probably run it at 20. Run it safe. For a while. Yeah. If I can push it bigger, I might, but. Well, just listen to whatever Matt says. Yeah. So. But yeah, if you don't know, now you know what turbo he's running. I swear we said it yesterday, but very close to having the guys come over and put in this motor back in. We're just putting on the little parts and pieces that we need to do before they come over. Uh, we're going to have like a special day, like literally all day, just to put this thing back in. Um, that'll be a whole separate video. That's going to be a pretty crazy video because we're going to finally hear this car run after months and months of it sitting. And we'll yeah. be able to not drive it. Well, you we'll probably drive around the neighborhood, but he's going to have to get it tuned for the upgraded turbo because if the if the tuner is there i probably can yeah. move it but yeah. if not the only thing that's kind of holding us back for now is this week 
or this upcoming week, I'm going to pull the water pump off again and probably make almost all those holes uh, new with Healy coils because one was stripping and it's got plenty of room so the bolt's not bottoming out. I think it just must have not been drilled correctly. Take you guys off the tripod. Yeah, because it's like something weird's going on there. So I'm going to get Adam's dad to come back over and fix those ones so then we can put all the timing belt pieces back on, get the boys over here to tighten everything up, and then we'll put the timing belt on, put the covers on, put like the, I like to call it the serpentine belt thing on, like the crankshaft one. that Down in front. Yeah. Well, this is timing, and then up front there's two more serpentine bolts. Yeah, the one that does so. the AC and the yeah, alternator. So we'll put that one on, the one that we painted. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, did we ever show them the heat shield? Um, no. I'll show you again in case we didn't. So, the stock heat shield is normally silver, but we actually repainted this one with the same repainted this one with the same paint that we did uh, Ryan's engine bay. So there's, you can see under here, there's a coat of primer, which is the brown stuff, and then this hack, this has primer, black paint, and a clear coat over it. So. This actually doesn't look too bad. The question is, are we gonna be able to run this? Are we going to be able to run this with the bigger turbo? We don't know yet. I assume so. It, it's, it's not any bigger it just than fits this. It's over that back portion. Yeah, so we'll see if we can run it, but while it's out, we, we said may as well just repaint it. We took off the rust, sanded it down, and made, it's like a bunch of little things that we wanted to um, make better before it goes in and then we can't take them back out easily. Another thing, we you can't see it, but uh, no more. We didn't, need, we didn't need small hands for this. To all you Subaru people, um, we put in the spark plugs while it's out, so that's the one time you don't, you don't need small hands for this, because, you know, just boxer motor. Oh, now he's painting more. Yeah, I figured I'd paint the back of this. That's All right, guys, so I think this we're going to close this out before it starts downpouring right now. And we want to thank you guys for watching this kind of three-day random video of stuff that we're doing to the car. Let us know if you guys want to see any other, like, projects or something that you guys want to learn how to do because we'll be glad to do them. We have so many cars around us that we just do a bunch of random things all the time anyways. Um, if you guys are new to this whole build process of my car, there's going to be a playlist up at the top of all the videos that we have worked on this motor build. So if you want to go back and refresh yourself with what we've done, go check out that playlist. We'll, this video will be in there along with all the other videos. So go check that out. Check us out on Instagram and Snapchat as always. Also, I just made us a Twitter account. Ooh. So go follow the Twitter Ooh. account because I think we're going to be posting some like secret stuff that's happening along the So that'll along also the way be on the this. screen. Check yeah. that out. Go check it out. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click on one of the two videos at the end to keep watching our awesome content. And peace out. And stay wicked.